Welcome everyone to the 2005 Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball Championships. We're here in Memphis, and I'm Sean Royster. This is former pro Aaron Katz. This is the greatest tournament of all time and the fastest sport of the racket sports. I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than this. No, biggest tournament of the year, 10th annual, eight out of the last nine U.S. Open champions went on to finish the year number one, so the players all understand the road to number one comes through Memphis. We're getting down to the quarterfinals here. We've got Polo Sotres versus Kane Wazalinchuk, the number one player in the world. Let's start with Polo. I mean, it was a big upset last night. He played against uh, the number eight player, Mike Guidry. Talk to me about his draw to lead up to this match. Huge victory for Polo, and the only player in the top eight that didn't advance to the quarters was Mike. So Polo, credit to him in being responsible for that only upset. I think Polo's got a real uphill battle today, though I think his run might be ending. Yeah, Polo's definitely got his hands full. Let's go down and see if he's ready for this match against Kane Wazalincha. My game plan is just play hard. This is the first time I play Kane. I hope it's not the last. The best part of me is that uh, I never give up. Even if they have me 10-0, I'm not going to give up. So I'm going to play all the balls hard. I feel comfortable seeing all my people, Mexico, cheering me. Uh, even Latin America, that's that's fun. That's keep me straight. So to play harder and harder, that's that's cool. Here I am, ready to play the number one. You know, Aaron, I don't know if you saw any confidence there or not. I mean, if you ask me, I think he's kind of a deer in the headlights. Right? He's playing against the number one player in the world, and I think he knows it. I think he was appropriately deferential to Kane. <laughs> Now, Kane Wazalinchuk is the only player to win two in a row of this event. And this, again, this will be amazing because he's also somebody who is favored to win this and the only player who would win this three times. Hey, Kane is the most dominant player the men's tour has seen in a long time, with the one caveat being Jack's beaten in the last couple of times they've played. But if you go back over the last two years, he has absolutely dominated the men's pro tour. So was he tested at all to lead up to this match? No, not at all. Kane's had a very easy route to the quarterfinals. He beat Brian Fredenberg from Texas in the round of 32, and then Mitch Wild Thing Williams in the round of 16s, both non-competitive matches. And I got a hunch we might see another one today because Kane looks just great out there. So Kane Wazalinchuk, the number one player in the world. He's getting ready to step onto the court. Let's see what he has to say. Obviously, to beat Mike Guidry, he's got to be playing really well. Guidry's a great player. Um, personally, I, I haven't played him um, ever, so uh, this is going to be a first for me. And this match right here is is where you're supposed to be comfortable. Um, you know, you're supposed to be ready to go, and and uh, you know, from the from the quarters on, you really have to uh, you really have to bring your game because whoever's in the quarters is is playing well. So um, I know I'm ready, and I'm pretty sure my opponent's ready. But uh, unfortunately for him, I think. Uh, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm a little more ready. So Kane, just as confident as an athlete could be, really. I mean, he's, he's known as the Terrell Owens of racquetball. He had a Sharpie thrown to him as he won the tournament last year and he signed the court. I mean, and why not be confident? He's the guy that's just tearing through this sport right now. Yeah, for the last two years, Kane has really turned the men's pro game into his own playground. He's very confident and he hasn't been tested yet. I'm not sure he's going to be tested today, Sean. It should be an interesting one, this quarterfinal match on the Tennis Channel when we return. The Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball Championships is brought to you by Choice Hotels International, family of hotel brands with over 5,000 locations and eight different brands worldwide, offering every type of accommodation in every price range. We meet all your travel needs. For reservations, visit us at choicehotels.com today. Choice Hotels, we'll see you there. And by Wilson Art Flooring. If it's tough enough for pro racquetball, it's tough enough for your home. Enjoy the beauty and durability of Wilson Art Flooring. Available at fine floor covering centers everywhere. Nikon, the world leader in digital imaging, precision optics, and photo imaging technology. Visit NikonUSA.com for a complete listing of all of our state-of-the-art products. Nikon, at the heart of the image. Also, Nuveen Investments, dedicated to helping you reach your goals in life. Ask your financial advisor today how Nuveen's growing range of equity and fixed income products can help you support your long-term plans. It was almost 50 years ago when Danny Thomas had a dream. A dream of creating a unique research hospital devoted to curing catastrophic diseases in children. 
more than just a treatment facility. This would be a research center for children from all parts of the world. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital has always played a big part in the sport of racquetball. Every year since the U.S. Open began here in Memphis, the players take time out to go over and visit these children. The Choice Hotel's U.S. Open Racquetball Championships has donated now over $100,000 to St. Jude's. This helps in advancing the research and treatment for these brave children. Not only is this great for the kids to meet these professional athletes, but it's also a reminder to the players and all of us truly what real strength and courage is all about. Here we are, Kane Wazalinchuk, the number one player in the world and the Cinderella story of the U.S. Open. Polo Gutierrez Sotres, who beat Mike Guidry, the number eight seed. Yeah, great win for Polo in a great tournament. But I fear that this is a terrible mismatch. Yeah, yeah I think Kane's going to get smoked. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and the problem for Polo is that Kane takes no prisoners when he plays. Yeah, it's going to be, a, so, I, I, I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of time to view oh, some of the good things the players got to do at St. Jude's. Zero, serving one. You know, Polo's a nice player and, you know, a lot of admiration for what he's done this tournament, but he's just a little out of his league against somebody like Kane. Listen, Aaron, one point of the first game and you're already calling this over. You know, I, I'm... Give the kid a chance. I am going to search for the silver lining in Polo's opportunities here, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Well, listen, I'm going to give the kid a chance right now and say he's going to put a little pressure on Kane right off the start here, and uh, I think he might take a... I, I, you know, I still might be, you know, a little jaded by watching Kane turn the Pro Tour into his own personal playground here last year where nobody scored more than three or four points. And that's Cliff Swain, Rocky Carson, the best in the world. And that's the last time I've seen Kane play, and he was just so dominant, it's tough for me to imagine that Polo is going to be able to work his way into this match. You know, and I've seen Polo play for a few years now, and um, one thing that he does have is a, uh, he's got a big heart, this kid. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't ever give up. He plays hard, and he's, he's, he's won some big matches. And he's, you know, he's, he's been training with the likes of Alvaro and Javier, and, you know, he's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know that he's got, you know, granted, he doesn't have a chance necessarily to uh, pull off a huge winning like a Kane Wazalincha. But, you know, I want to at least acknowledge that he is in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. It's a great tournament. Great tournament for Polo. Two, seven, zero. You know, and once again, in fairness to Polo, when Kane's on his game, there's nobody who has a chance against him. Right. And I think the it's certainly going to take Polo some time to adjust to the moment. Playing here in the, under the lights at the U.S. Open quarterfinals. And the challenge is with Kane, he won't be given a lot of time to adjust to the moment. Skip ball. And boy, the crowd's not liking it. Come on, guys. Come on. And Kane, <laughs> Kane hits a shot between his legs, full swing, hits with a little bit of pace on it. I didn't see that ball skip. Apparently it did because Kane seemed quite confident. But Man, Kane's just moving around the court so well. Right where he wants to be at all times. Zero. It's 5-0. Four minutes into the match. Shot. 
you know, Kane played Mike Guidry here last year in the quarterfinals, and it was it was not pretty. It was a, a mismatch, and I fear we might be seeing the same thing today. Great shot. Again, Kane has the ability to do pretty much anything he wants out there. Now, He's Sean, got a lot of weapons. Have you heard anything whether Shane hurt his knee? I've never seen him wear a knee brace before. Oh, Kane. Kane. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually have. I, I saw him talking to Eugene Coyle from Chicago, who is a reputable trainer, understands physical therapy very well, and is a good friend of Dave Negretti's, the International Racquetball Tour Commissioner. And I saw him uh, sitting down on the floor and Eugene Coyle working on his leg. And uh, yeah, I was there when Kane presented the problem to him and said, hey, I'm having a little bit of issue with my knee. And I, uh, I don't understand what's going on. Can you help me out? And that's about all I saw. And I saw him adjusting it. So there is something going on. I don't know what. Thanks, Sean. That really clears it up. Yeah, cool. If you need any more information, feel free to ask. I'm right here. Maybe after the match, you can go and diagnose the problem and then get back to me with a report, Aaron. <laughs> I think I'll send a reporter that I have <laughs> confidence will come back with more specific information. <laughs> In the game of racquetball, the only way you can score a point is if you're serving. If your opponent wins the rally when you're serving, it's called the side out, and it's their turn to serve and your turn to receive. The dotted line is on the court to protect the server. The receiver is not allowed to enter into this safety zone until the ball has bounced. But once the ball bounces, this line disappears. Hello, I'm Sean Royster, and today I'm standing on the grounds of Graceland. Elvis bought this home in 1957 for just over $100,000. And now, with over 600,000 visitors a year, it is the second most visited home in the U.S. Oh my gosh. Wow. Good get. That's good, good get. Hustle by Polo. Polo making it happen. Just fighting through that rally. Yeah, great shot by Zero, Polo. Six. And Polo's out there scrapping away. He's a little outgunned. I think he's. Uh, Shown up to a gunfight with a pocket knife. Ooh, just missed. Six, serving zero. Six, zero. Polo yet to get a point on the board. Kane Wazelinchuk just basically routinely running through these points. Could be a very quick match. Good get. That, I mean, look at that, that 
stride that Kane has with his legs. He's able to completely extend and, and just take great forehand strokes. Yeah, he just hits the ball so flat, too. This guy, Kane has all the tools. He's got power, he's got quick hands, he's mentally tough. You know, he really is uh, the total package, and, and that's why he's dominated the tour so much the last couple of years. He's the only player that has all of those attributes. Zero, seven, seven. Hence, the reason why he's number one in the world. Correct. That serve's not gonna do it. No. Seven, serving zero. But I, I'm not sure if we know what serve will do it unless it's just a rocket, like what maybe uh, Cliff Swain has, Vanderson has. I yeah, mean, I'm even not, men, I'm, who knows? Yeah, and I'm not seeing that shot in Polo's arsenal just yet. <laughs> maybe he's holding out on us. That's Seven. tough. You know, and this this is really a great opportunity for Polo. You know, he doesn't have much of a really? chance that's to that's win. That's such an unfair rule. But, you know, it's really a great opportunity. You know, he plays in Mexico. He's one of the top players there. He's had the opportunity to come over to the States to play in a few more tournaments and get to play on this stage in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open against the number one player in the world is really going to serve him well. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a good opportunity for Polo. Nine, seven, zero. I'm looking up and I'm seeing Polo's parents, and they're, uh, you know, they're just as excited to see uh, their son here. Sit down front row. They're, they're very supportive of Polo. I've had a chance to talk to him before the match, and uh, they're just as excited as anybody else in the building to have Polo on that court right now. Well, it's a uh great story to come out of nowhere and beat Mike Guidry, a tour veteran, you know, who's been playing around forever. You know, great shot there by Polo. And, and some, would, uh, some would wrap around and hit a backhand there, but he, he chose to uh, just get jammed and hit a nice little forehand pinch in the left corner. Scooch. Yeah, you know. Good get. Great hustle by Polo. And the thing with Kane, Kane lets up on nobody. If he can beat Polo 11-0, 11-0, 11-0, he will, which is good for Polo. He knows if he scores any points, they will be earned. Well earned, yes. 10-0 already. Kane was a Linchuk with a game point in the first game. Wow, yeah. Polo's not going to let it happen. That was an incredible shot. Wow. Reached from way behind him and somehow flicked the kill shot in. Amazing shot by Polo. He didn't get a point on the board here. Great serve. Oh, yeah. look at Kane. Kane. Not Just letting it happen, but the crowd ready to explode if there was a point scored. <laughs> Just didn't happen. Ten, Just zero. heartless that Kane not only reached that ball, but somehow flicked it into the right corner for a winner. So Kane sitting here with game point. Looking to give Polo a donut. Skip ball and he doesn't. Polo again. Polo hanging in there. Playing primarily for pride at this point Certainly. in the game. Now if he gets this point, listen for this crowd. Not gonna happen. Still can't get that point on the board. Ten, seven, zero. This really is almost like two different divisions. I, I hate to say it. Kane is just really such a dominant, dominant player against the best in the world. And um, you know, once we'll again, Polo should really be able to take in a lot of his experiences this week at the U.S. Open and take his game into no, another ball. level. Yeah. I was taking an offensive shot off the back wall. <laughs> it was almost 50 years ago when Danny Thomas had a dream. A dream of creating a unique research hospital devoted to curing catastrophic diseases in children. More than just a treatment facility, this would be a research center for children from all parts of the world. 
St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital has always played a big part in the sport of racquetball. Every year since the U.S. Open began here in Memphis, the players take time out to go over and visit these children. The Choice Hotel's U.S. Open Racquetball Championships has donated now over $100,000 to St. Jude's. This helps in advancing the research and treatment for these brave children. Not only is this great for the kids to meet these professional athletes, but it's also a reminder to the players and all of us truly what real strength and courage is all about. Kane making a little funny there. 10-0. A rare miss up front for Kane. Let's see if Polo can create a little momentum off of that miss. <laughs> Zero, serving 10. Right. Not going to happen. A lot of heat coming off the backhand. Kane was a lynch up. Another opportunity here for Kane to close out game one. Let's see if Polo can hold him. Once again, he has extended the game to 13 minutes. Nope, Another short serve. Zero, seven, ten. <laughs> Great get by Polo. Oof. Right. You just ten, seven, zero. takes an awful lot to earn a point against Kane. Certainly does. He gets to every ball, he keeps pressure on you. Unless you hit a perfect shot, he's likely gonna be up there and re-kill it. He's really a, a machine. There it is, Kane cannot close this first game out. And credit to Polo, yeah. he's hanging in there. His return of serve is something else. There it is. Look at, look at that. I love it. You gotta love the spirit of Polo to put his hands up yeah. and get some props from the crowd for that point. Good for him. Great shot too. Boy, I gotta tell you. Polo knew that was broken right away. Just so everybody at home understands, if the ball breaks during the rally, it's a play over, and Polo either heard or saw that that ball that broke you. after Kane hit it, that ball. and immediately asked to check the ball. Yeah, I don't see how he saw that. Starting one something. serving 10. So it's one serving 10. <laughs> Skip ball by Kane. No, no! My racket hit the ground. Oh, that's horrible, Jay. Come on, man. Just because my racket hits the ground does not mean that I skipped the ball. Come on. That's a pretty good point. Yeah, I, Come on, Jay. you know, the referee missed the call, but once again, good for Polo. He's got the two now. That's a good shot. All right. Good. Look at that. All right. Why is that a technical warning? What's Why amazing is, is here is Kane at 10-2 in smart. the first game, playing Look, against Polo Gutierrez, somebody who probably doesn't think he's got any chance. And this is just indic indicative of how intense Kane is. Yeah. Still getting upset and arguing every call. You know, and part of that is obviously Kane doesn't think that Polo's going to beat him but he wants to stay in that game face mentality for the whole tournament. And there's another great shot by Polo. I'm telling you, this return of serve, Polo is really hitting some great shots back there. Boy, that is discouraging yeah. to hit a beautiful shot like Polo just hit and Kane to be able to step over, not only cover it, but delicately hit a re-kill. Kane with a high lob to the backhand of Polo. Missed that. First and there game. it is. First game, game one. 
10 serving two. Polo put a little something together there at the end, but not enough. Game one, we'll be right back. The purpose of a serve is to force a weak return. You accomplish that by mixing up your serve, which keeps your opponent off guard and guessing. After you serve, it is a must to get back into good center court position to prepare for your next shot. Let's take a look at Jason. Hello, I'm Sean Royster, and today I'm standing on the grounds of Graceland. Elvis bought this home in 1957 for just over $100,000. And now, with over 600,000 visitors a year, it is the second most visited home in the U.S. We're back. Polo comes back and starts to serve the lob and gets a point right off the bat. Yeah, good. Polo with the lead. Hey, you know, I, I like what Polo's doing. He he's not playing intimidated. I don't know that Polo thinks he's got a chance to win, but he's out there. He's hustling. His right. body's got to be hurting. He had a very tough match with Mike Gidry yesterday, and he's just out there trying. Giving it all he can, and you know, if it's not enough, it's not enough. He'll take it back to Juarez and figure out how he can get better off the experience. Absolutely, and that's that is a respectable showing, and it's a great way to play against a champion like Kane Wazelinchuk. And the thing is, in his interview, he told us that he's the guy that even when he used the, these words, he says, "Even if somebody's got me 10-0, I'm not going to give up." And that's exactly what happened there in game one. He's not giving up. He's playing hard. Yeah. You know, I, I think if Polo he's, looks like he's got a lot of discipline, a lot of mental toughness, I think if he smooths out his strokes a little bit, works on his technique, starts getting to a few more IRT pro events, probably can turn himself into a very competitive pro player. One, seven, two. Lob serve to the backhand. Ooh, uncharacteristic miss by Kane Wazel. Yeah, and once again, Polo just keeps hanging in there, plugging along. He's going to make Kane hit shots. That's quick hands. Good get, set up for Polo. Oh, boy. That was a terrible call. Because Kane hit an incredible really shot. And that's what I love about Kane, like you said earlier. He's, he it doesn't matter what the score is, it doesn't matter what the matchup is. For, I mean, it's like. It, what are you watching? That really was a great get. Not only was it a great get, he took away just a signature Kane rekill. The ball knows. The ball knows. 
What, what was Kane saying there, Sean? The, the ball knows. Kane lines up to bring some firepower. Look at the way he redirected that ball with that back end. He must have completely flipped his wrist around. That's incredible. Well, Sean, that was the first time I've seen Kane lo losing in two years <laughs> here in the U.S. Open because I don't think he ever trailed last year at the Open. He won every game three straight, and certainly from the quarters on, he never trailed. From his knees. I remember that from last year. That is amazing how he's done that. And what he's referring to is last year he did shoot from his knees and make an amazing shot. And that's just incredible how he does that. He's, you know, he's so confident. And uh, you know, he, can do, he can do things on the court that nobody else can. It's incredible. Now I will say this, while Kane is clearly the favorite to win this tournament until someone else beats him. He does not look as fit to me this year as he did last year. So we'll see as he gets into the later rounds. You know, he'll play, if he gets by Polo, he'll play Rocky in the semifinals, and then he'll have to go through Cliff or Jack Huzak in the finals, depending on who wins the other semi. You know, we've seen all of those play. And we'll see if Kane is a little more vulnerable this year because he does not look as fit to me as he did last year. That, that's an interesting observation. I mean, are you looking at him from, from the physique standpoint? Does it look like he's in good shape, or is it his quickness? Or is He looks like he is not as fit to me. Yeah, I see. I, I can't, you don't see I can't, that? Yeah, I can't tell. I, I, don't, I don't see that at all. preparation is a crucial part of stroke mechanics. As soon as the ball hits the front wall, you want to get your racket up. It's very similar to baseball. Before the pitch is even thrown, the batter has his bat up. Let's take a look at Jason. The Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball Championships is brought to you by Choice Hotels International, family of hotel brands with over 5,000 locations in eight different brands worldwide offering every type of accommodation in every price range. We meet all your travel needs. For reservations, visit us at choicehotels.com today. Choice Hotels, we'll see you there. And by Wilson Art Flooring. If it's tough enough for pro racquetball, it's tough enough for your home. Enjoy the beauty and durability of Wilson Art Flooring, available at fine floor covering centers everywhere. Nikon, the world leader in digital imaging, precision optics, and photo imaging technology. Visit NikonUSA.com for a complete listing of all of our state-of-the-art products. Nikon, at the heart of the image. Also, Nuveen Investments, dedicated to helping you reach your goals in life. Ask your financial advisor today how Nuveen's growing range of equity and fixed income products can help you support your long-term plans. It was almost 50 years ago when Danny Thomas had a dream. A dream of creating a unique research hospital devoted to curing catastrophic diseases in children. More than just a treatment facility, this would be a research center for children from all parts of the world. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital has always played a big part in the sport of racquetball. Every year since the U.S. Open began here in Memphis, the players take time out to go over and visit these children. The Choice Hotel's U.S. Open Racquetball Championships has donated now over $100,000 to St. Jude's. This helps in advancing the research and treatment for these brave children. Not only is this great for the kids to meet these professional athletes, but it's also a reminder to the players and all of us truly what real strength and courage is all about. Polo is such a gentleman, he's not capable of arguing right. with the ref. I agree. 5-3. Great, sir. It really was. Six, seven, three. You know, it might not be fit. Kane is just such a big, strong kid. He moves around the court so well. You know, I think people lose touch with how big he is as well as he moves. Right, 
And he's such a good athlete. I don't know if you've seen him play other sports or not, but he's such a phenomenal hockey player. He's a great basketball player. And I played a little one-on-one -on -one with him, and it just took me to school. And I'm not a bad basketball player. Not bad, Aaron. And, I mean, just the hand speed that he has here in, the, in, in racquetball, how quick his hands are, it's the same kind of thing in, in basketball. He's just got such great skills, dribbling skills and his footwork and everything. He's just an all-around phenomenal athlete. What do you play hockey in Austin, Texas? <laughs> I think that might have been more of the, the Canada days. Oh, the Saskatchewan. There you go. Because I... Saskatoon? Saskatoon, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Six, seven, three. What's up, Winterton? Nice to see you, bud. I missed that. I'm not sure what he was talking I about. I think there. he was saying hello to his coach, Jim Winterton. Must have just walked in. Another miss there by Polo. Seven, doesn't, three. Polo doesn't quite have the same return to serve as he did in the first game, has he? He's missed a few here. 7-3. But still a good showing that he worked his way into this game, was actually up 3-2. No, good call. That's a good That's call. That's a good call. another bad call. That just, just made it over the line, Jay. Three is over seven. Yeah, I agree. Short serve. Yeah, no question. Polo going for the heater. Goes right to the backhand. Skip ball. Putting a little run together here. Four, seven. Yeah. Four, seven, seven. Good shot by Polo. Good serve. Then he had a pinch. Forced Kane to move all the way forward, and Kane got jammed against the side wall. That's seven. tough. Tough as nails. Seven, seven, four. Kane going to the drive. To Z serve to his backhand. Shot point. Great hands there by Kane. You know, the natural shot there with the way that around the ball, wall ball was coming would have been for Kane to just rip it back into that right corner, but he hit a nice gentle pinch into the left corner and redirected the direction of the ball. We're going to take a little break here. It's 8 4 in game two. We'll be right back. In order to start the rally, you need to serve. To serve, you have to stand between these two solid red lines, hit the ball against the front wall. The ball needs to travel past this second red line on a fly without touching the back wall on a fly. And here's what it looks like. And now your rally started. Now that you've served the ball, your opponent needs to hit it before it bounces twice. Once he does hit it, it needs to hit the front wall before it hits the floor. If it hits the floor first, it's called a skip, and you've won the rally. Time is in. Kane leading 8-4 in game two. Polo playing some decent racquetball. He's got four points on the board. Yeah, Polo, once again, he's so trained to not argue with the ref. He clearly stopped there because he thought Keynes was two bounces, and I think I agree with yeah, him. me too. And then even after the point, he doesn't have it in him to even yell at the ref. Picked up his eyebrows a little bit, and that's right. about as animated as he gets. He said something to himself, but uh, quiet enough to where uh, Jason couldn't hear him. You know, if Polo comes over, plays the IRT for a couple of years. He might pull it out of him. Yeah. <laughs> might pull it out he of him. He may not be such a, quite as big a gentleman. The intensity on the tour sometimes causes these guys to get a little irate with the refs when they don't like the call. Game point here for Kane. And he takes it. 
2-0 lead. Kane fired up, pumps his fist. He's ready for this U.S. Open. We'll be right back. Shot selection is one of the most critical parts of the game. As you can see, when Jason is behind his opponent, as you would be if you were behind your opponent, if the ball's in his hitting zone, he's gonna hit a passing shot, or if it's out of his hitting zone, he's gonna hit a ceiling ball, which draws me out of the middle. If you are in front of your opponent, as Jason is in front of me, that's the time when you pinch or you kill, which keeps the ball in front of the court and moves me forward. Hello, I'm Sean Royster, and today I'm standing on the grounds of Graceland. Elvis bought this home in 1957 for just over $100,000. And now, with over 600,000 visitors a year, it is the second most visited home in the U.S. At the men's pro quarterfinals, Kane Wazalinchuk leading the series 2-0, but Polo Gutierrez playing some decent ball against the champion. Just amazing racket skills. Yeah. He's just something else. Kane. He's a very, very tough player. Polo, once again, has really impressed me. He's come out here. Very tough situation, playing the number one, the dominant number one player in the world, coming off a huge win yesterday over Mike Guidry. It's a tough serve. And to come out here, play with a lot of pride. Two, seven, zero. He's now scored more points against Kane than both Kane's semifinal and final match in the U.S. Open last year. That's true, isn't it? So nothing to be ashamed of Polo's performance so far. If I recall, Cliff scored four points in the finals last year. Yeah, that's exactly right. Three, seven, zero. Yeah, Kane coming out to kill, though, here. Three, zero. He's trying to send a message. Five seconds. Great catch. Unbelievable catch. Boy. Nice, nice patience by Polo yeah, to stick with that and hit a great shot to finish that rally, but yeah. amazing gets by Kane. That's just so discouraging to have to hit that many good shots to win a point against Kane. I think I'm going to take back what I said earlier, Sean, that he might not be in as good a shape as he was last year. What? One, two, three. Great shot there. Polo's on the board. Three, seven, one. Right. 
Great return of wow. serve. Really good stuff. Stepped One, two, over. Three. Kane didn't miss that serve by much, and Polo just stepped over and splatted it. Three serving one. Wow. Yeah. Boy, it's a great tough, stuff. Tough shot. Kane can basically hit that just Four automatic at any time from anywhere on the court. It's unbelievable. 4 1 here. Tough serve. That's a tough shot by Polo. Great shot. Good return of serves. Jam, jam Kane, which is very difficult to do. And then followed up with a down the line kill. See if Polo can put some points on the board here. That's tough. That is tough. I like it. Great shot. Good serve, forced Kane to flick to the ceiling, and Polo fouled it up with a forehand pinch. Skip ball, skip. Skip ball, we got some points on the board here. Boy, Polo really Three, hanging in there. Four. Three serving four. You gotta really respect Polo's effort to come out here against Kane. Nice shot. Just as flat as you could hit a ball. Four, seven, three. See if Kane goes after a drive serve or if he sticks with the lob. Yeah, he's bringing some heat. From the knees. Great get, get by Polo. Good get by Polo. Good hustle. Oh, oh, what a rally. Ball goes out of the court. We're going to take a little break. Polo gets the serve back, and it's 3 4. We'll be right back. Polo up in the service box, three serving four. Ah, oh, that's a bad four. miss. Yeah. Four serving four. Really doing a nice job here. Shot, Polo takes the lead. Hey. Crowd, Polo. Yeah, the crowd's getting behind him too, Eric. Crowd's getting behind him, and Kane has let up a little bit, and he's going to have to turn it back on, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do once you've turned it off. Unfortunately, momentum is not a light switch. Oh, Ooh, big miss there. I mean, barely Four, missed. Seven, five. I mean, that looks nonchalant. Four serving five. Kane trailing for the second time in this match. It's not there. Boy. And Kane does not look crisp right now, and Polo's kind of got some momentum going. He's got a little bit of gleam in his eye. I like it. I like to see something happen here. Good First serve. Skip ball. We got another point. Six, Six four. four. And the crowd is getting a little restless. It's another point. Another point for Polo Gutierrez. You know, and this crowd has not seen Kane lose a game in a long time. Right. Good hands. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> Four, so Kane kind of wanted him to get that. It's been two years since this crowd here in Memphis at the U.S. Open has seen Kane lose a game. Let's see if Polo can hang in there. Terrific showing so far. Oh my gosh, what a shot. Wow. Seven, seven, four. Wow. Unbelievable. I, I mean, this is great. I love to see it. Eight, seven, four. Eight serving four. Three play. Ball goes out of the court. We'll take a little break here. We'll be right back. Scores eight four in game three. of the return of serve is to get your opponent out of the middle. You're in a defensive position and they're in an offensive position. To accomplish that, you either hit a ceiling or a pass, which drives your opponent deep and puts them in the most difficult position to score. The Choice Hotels U.S. Open Racquetball Championships is brought to you by Choice Hotels International, family of hotel brands with over 5,000 locations in eight different brands worldwide, offering every type of accommodation in every price range. We meet all your travel needs. For reservations, visit us at choicehotels.com today. Choice Hotels, we'll see you there. And by Wilson Art Flooring. If it's tough enough for pro racquetball, it's tough enough for your home. Enjoy the beauty and durability of Wilson Art Flooring. Available at fine floor covering centers everywhere. Nikon, the world leader in digital imaging, precision optics, and photo imaging technology. Visit NikonUSA.com for a complete listing of all of our state-of-the-art products. Nikon, at the heart of the image. Also, Nuveen Investments, dedicated to helping you reach your goals in life. Ask your financial advisor today how Nuveen's growing range of equity and fixed income products can help you support your long-term plans. It was almost 50 years ago when Danny Thomas had a dream. A dream of creating a unique research hospital devoted to curing catastrophic diseases in children. More than just a treatment facility, this would be a research center for children from all parts of the world. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital has always played a big part in the sport of racquetball. Every year since the U.S. Open began here in Memphis, the players take time out to go over and visit these children. The Choice Hotel's U.S. Open Racquetball Championships has donated now over $100,000 to St. Jude's. This helps in advancing the research and treatment for these brave children. Not only is this great for the kids to meet these professional athletes, but it's also a reminder to the players and all of us truly what real strength and courage is all about. Polo lines up to serve here. He's got a lead in game three. And hits just a effortless short serve. Let's see if Kane can change the momentum here. got to believe Kane has got to be thinking in his head at any time he could come in, come in here and start scoring points at will, but, you know, Polo has earned every single one of these points. He's hit some great shots. Yeah, you know, Kane let up just a little bit. Polo started getting in a rhythm, looked like he loosened up a little bit, and he's hit some very, very tough shots this game. You know, no question, his showing here, not only against this match, but advancing through Mike Guidry into the quarterfinals, will encourage Polo to start going to more pro events here in the States. Bad miss there by Polo. Six, seven, eight. Six serving eight. Boy. That's unbelievable. He's That's got some, his, his technique is a bit unorthodox, but he's effective. He's getting it done. 
He's getting some points on the board. That's unbelievable. Wow. And then Kane comes back with that. Kane sticking with a uh, little heat, coming with a drive serve. Good jam serve, spin by Polo. It's tough. Flattens it down the line. Now, Sean, before his, if Kane advances to the semifinals, before his semi, I'm going to send you out to get an injury report. He's wearing a knee brace, and it looks to me like he's wearing a back brace, too. Are you sure that's not just the audio from the TV crew? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it is the audio. Yeah, not that I know anything about it. I just uh, think there's a good chance that might be the audio pack. Well, then we'll have to focus on the knee brace. Yeah, we'll get back to that. No problem. I'll, 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 I'll gladly go out there and take care of that job for you. And give you a full report. Look at that. It doesn't seem like the knee is much of a problem. No, no. Good comeback here from Kane. Uh, he was just down 8-4, and in typical Kane fashion, has run four points very quickly, all with flat rollouts, forehand, backhand, all over the court. Ooh. Oh, my very God. Very nice. Pair of eights here in game three. But Polo playing some good ball, hitting some good shots. It's all tied it up at eight. It's kind of a half lob there. That's a bad call. Boy, that is a bad call. And I didn't realize Polo advanced here. Not only did he beat Mike Guidry, he beat uh, Jason Thorner. That's a big win. Jason Thorner, our referee, is a good player. And he's number nine on tour, Jason Thorner. So. It's good gets. But Kane put himself in the right position and re-killed the shot down the right side. So again, Kane trailing, eight serving nine. You know, Kane looks very focused. He understands the danger of letting a hot player get into a match when there's no need to. And I think he's a little angry with himself right now. What? Nine serving nine. All tied up, nine serving nine. Good return. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tough shot there by Kane. And here we are, Kane Wazalincha with a match point. Kane sticking with the heat. Should be a good serve. And there it is. For the match, Polo with an ace. Kane definitely giving him some props, and that's good stuff. It was a great match in the sense for Polo making it to the quarterfinals of the US Open. It was great to see, but Kane Wazalinchuk advances to the semifinals. Thanks for watching.